Okay, hey there, Dr. Dave back with you. Um, this could be one of the most important videos I've ever made on microdosing magic mushrooms, psilocybin. Um, I get so many questions, the most popular ones being, um, how much do I take? What's my dosage? How often do I take it? How long do I have to take it? Those are probably the most common questions. So even though I've done videos on this before, I wanna go ahead and consolidate all the information into one video that you can watch and rewatch and bookmark and make and refer back to it anytime you want because it's really important because I'm getting, um, as much as I think I've answered a lot of these questions, I'm getting them over and over and over again. So let's make this the video that explains everything. Now I'm going by my experience and also other people that I've talked to in the community quite a bit. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, everybody is different. That's why if you're first starting, I'm going to give you a um, dosage and schedule that should work out for you, even though keeping in mind, everybody is different. Now, it seems like the most common reason, at least people that are asking me about microdosing, the most common reason that you want to microdose is because of depression. And anxiety is a very, very close second. And a lot of times they're, they're actually related. Um, sometimes you have one with the other and vice versa because they kind of go together. It's, it's very common to have depression and anxiety together. So, okay, let's get started. First, I'm gonna talk about dosing, how much you actually take each time you take it. Then I'm gonna talk about how often you need to do this. And then I'm also gonna, then after that, I'm gonna talk about how long you need to do that. So in other words, is it, is it something you just do for a few months, then stop? Is it something you do for years, for the rest of your life? We'll talk about all of that. So let's get going right now. Okay, so dosing, how much do you start with? If you've never microdosed magic mushrooms before, I'm going to recommend starting off with a dose. And when I talk about magic mushrooms, I'm talking about dried, ground up mushrooms. Generally, kind of, we talk about, I talk about the um, Cubensis strain, which is kind of like one of the more common ones that people are using for, for microdosing. Um, okay, so how much do you start with? I'm gonna recommend between 50 and 100 milligrams. Now you need to know the metric system a little bit because sometimes people talk about that in grams and 50, gram, 50 milligrams, 50 milligrams is 0.05 grams. 100 milligrams is 0.1 grams. So all you need to do is move that decimal place like three points over and you're gonna convert from milligrams to grams and vice versa. Grams to milligrams just go the other way. Um, it's not it's not that difficult, although it can be overwhelming to a lot of people that are not really used to the metric system. If you've never microdosed before and you feel like you have a um, low tolerance, like it takes you in general, it takes you very little bit of medication to to work. Um, I'm going to recommend starting with the 50 milligrams. If if you've done different types of medication, antidepressants, maybe even some cannabis, and you feel like your um, tolerance is a little bit higher than, than average, higher than most, I'm gonna recommend you start with 100 milligrams. But again, you won't make a mistake doing one or the other. You're not gonna make a mistake. Now, um, you take your 50 milligrams or 100 milligrams to start off with once per day, once per day. Now, how many days in a row can you go before you need to take a break? Again, there's a lot of controversy out there. There's so many different opinions. And again, the thing is, everybody's different. So there's no hard and fast rule. I'm going to ask you not to harp on this so much because it's not really that scientific. Generally, as a general rule, uh, you should take maybe two to three days in a row, then take one to two days off. Again, it's it's not in writing and it's not in, it's not carved in stone. You kind of do what you feel like. Again, there's because there's no right or wrong. The most important thing is you need to take several days off for tolerance break or else if you microdose every single day, you're gonna become tolerant and it's not going to have the effect that it should have. That's the reason you take breaks. But take a break as long as you want, as long as it's not too long. I'd recommend you know, a day or two or three days break, some, something like that. Again, get a feel for it. After you start doing this, you will have a feel for how it affects your body because again, Everybody is different. Repeat after me. Everybody is different. So let's say you started with, let's use the 50 milligrams. You started with that and you do it 
three days in a row, and then you take two days off. That's a pretty standard kind of protocol, three days on, two days off. Let's say you do that, and let's say you do that, and let's say you do that for several cycles. A cycle is three days on, two days off. That would be considered one cycle. Let's say you do that for several cycles and you just don't feel any improvement whatsoever. Then I'm gonna recommend you go up to 100 milligrams, increase from 50 to 100, and repeat the same thing. Do that for a few cycles. If it's, number one, if it's too strong, back off to the 50 again. If you're still not feeling any real change or effect after a couple cycles, go up to probably about 150 or 200 milligrams per dose. What should you feel? Well, it's a great question. You're not supposed to feel like you're tripping. You're not supposed to be seeing visuals. You're not supposed, you should be able to totally function and feel good while you're microdosing. If you don't, chances are you're taking too much. So back off a little bit. Should you feel your depression goes away immediately? No, not necessarily at all. I'll tell you how it worked for me because I'm, I'm a pretty good example because I've been microdosing for a little bit over a year right now. And notice when I said a little over a year, I didn't do it for a few months, then just stop. I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it kind of on my schedule, the way my body tells me to do it, but I'm, I'm microdosing. And when I first started, I did feel better almost right away. Now, could that have been, been a placebo effect? Possibly. I don't know. It doesn't really matter at this point. Um, as time went on, every month, and let's say I'm 12 to 13 months into this now, I started feeling much better. I mean, noticeably better. Even now that I'm 12 or 13 months into this, I'm, I can tell for sure I'm feeling better now. And when I say, be when I say better, I mean um, no depression and no anxiety. I'm feeling better now than I did four months ago with microdosing. Even though I felt great four months ago, it was a tremendous improvement, it seems like it's getting better and better and better. That's why I don't plan to stop. Why would I wanna stop? I enjoy it, it's not, it doesn't affect my daily life or daily routine, I can totally function, it makes me actually feel better, so why would I ever wanna stop? Would I wanna take a break at some point? Like when I say a break, I mean weeks or months. I don't know, I, I, I haven't really thought about that because it's, working so well, again, that it's, I see no reason to, to back off or take a break. It's, it's, this is medicine that is just, it's what the doctor ordered for me. I mean, it's, and, and it should be for you too, if you, if you do it right, if you follow what I'm saying. I feel so much better after one year of microdosing that I cannot even explain the difference. It, it really is I don't want to sound like a snake oil salesman and, and I don't have to because I don't sell anything. I'm not selling a thing. So, but I say it's like, it's like a miracle. It's like a miracle medicine. It's, it's something that has, I wish I would have known about this decades ago. I really do. It's really taking care of my um, problems that I had mentally. There's, there's, there's no question in my mind. So I think I answered how, um, the dosage. And one more thing, one more thing about the dosage. I kind of zeroed in, you, know, you don't just keep increasing, increasing, increasing. I kind of zeroed in the dosage that feels best for me when I take it, and I usually take it in the morning, morning seems to be the best time for me, is, is 250 milligrams. That seems to be kind of like the sweet spot. Um, less than that works also, and more than that, I've, I've done doses up to, and these are not micro doses at all, I've done doses up to like two, two plus grams, and I'm gonna be learning more about um, you know larger doses and macro doses, but right now my videos and what I'm talking about purely are about microdosing. Microdosing works. Um, at least I can share it's worked for me incredibly, and other people that I've talked to have had fantastic results. So it's not a placebo. There's just, there's no way the placebo could be working for this long. I would say maybe the first few days or the first couple of weeks it could be acting as a placebo because you're expecting it to do all this. But over a year, it's a pretty fair trial period. And, and I can tell you with, with certainty, it is not a placebo. There's just, there's just no way. There are other things that I recommend that you do, such as be very intentional and meaning um, journal, write down, what down what, write down what your intentions are, write down what you want to improve, write down how you're feeling now and how you want to feel, write down the changes that you want to feel in your life. Like other than depression and anxiety and some PTSD, some of the things I wrote down were, 
I want to be more mindful. I want to be more accepting of others. I want to be um, more in the zone when I work and I want to be more creative and things like that. So write those down and study them all the time and edit as needed. Um, using magic mushrooms is not like popping Alexa Pro in the morning and then forgetting about everything. It, it, you really do need to be a little bit more intentional, but the dividends, it will pay off. Uh, it will be exponential, astronomical, if you get my, if, if those words make sense. I think they do because it is true. They just, it, the, the dividends just are, are really, really high. The return on your investment is really, really high. Um, it, it, it doesn't take a lot of work, but it does take some. So don't obsess over it. Just think a lot and write down what your intentions are and write down how you want to, how you want to feel in the future and, and study it. And that's, you know, and do some meditation and do things like yoga. I go to a sound bath and just do things that help your body eat right, sleep well, um, you know, get the right amount of sleep, move your body, exercise. When you do all these things together, including the things I taught you at the very, more the beginning, the first half of this video, um, it really, microdosing really, really should work for you. I try to answer as many questions as I get. I know a lot of you write in and comment on my videos and ask these exact questions. So I hope you watch this and watch it over and over if you're not sure or take notes and bookmark it and come back to it because this really has all of the basic information that you need to start microdosing it, even if you're in the early stages. I hope this helps you a lot. Um, it is not meant to be medical advice. Um, it's just meant to help you in your life as, as much as I can help you. Thanks so much. If you haven't subscribed, just make sure you press that subscribe. I think it's down there, some, yeah, down there somewhere or over there somewhere. I don't know. And I'm going to be announcing some upcoming live streams as well. So what, what a live stream will do is I'll be broadcasting live and you can ask me questions in real time. We'll have like real discussions. I did it last week. It turned out great. People loved it. And so I'm absolutely going to be planning some more. So stay tuned. Make sure you uh, subscribe and press the notifications that you will get notifications every time a new video or live stream comes out. Till next time, I'm Dr. Dave. I will see you soon.